and they racing away. Surefire a little bit slow into stride. 1914 on the money and running first to react. Time marches on Gunfighter, Jet Explorer, Way of Light gets well placed towards the inside. Miss Masala, Surefire the trailer. 1914 in front by a length and a quarter. Gunfighter and Way of Light second and third. Tippo Tinto's around them. Jet Explorer is only three and a half lengths off them. Time marches on towards the inside. Miss Masala, surefire the last two, seven lengths first to last. 1914 bowling along from Gunfighter and Way of Light. Jet Explorer is hard held between runners, the white cap, Tippo Tinto's in the pink. Time marches on to the inside, surefire Miss Masala. Homeward bound with just on 500 to go, 1914. Way of Light moves well to the inside. Jet Explorer now asked upon Freen's effort to the stand side. Three lengths to make up. Still 1914, the one to get to. Way of Light towards the inside. Jet Explorer's come under a ride on the stand side. And 1914 continues to go inside the 200 meter marker. 1914, two to three lengths. Way of Light's trying to close in. But 1914's run them ragged out here. 1914 won it. Way of Light second, surefire. And then came time marches on. Nineteen fourteen continues to gallop in front and will stay there for his overdue victory and wins it with a touch of ease this afternoon. Kiga de Mello punching him out over the last two hundred and fifty, travelled smoothly throughout. Nineteen fourteen wins it. Way of Light staying on second, then came Surefire, Time Marches on, Gunfighter, Miss Masala. And Jet Explorer not really persevered with late on. 1914 had the lead and continues to go. Way of Light towards the inside. And then behind runners Gunfighter, Surefire. Jet Explorer the white cap on the right hand side. But it's all 1914 over the last 150 meters. And out in front is where he'll stay. Way of Light plugging away with Surefire. But as they go to the post, number 8, 1914 wins it. Back to the studio. Nineteen fourteen has come through to win here for the Dennis Ride. Oh, really nice to see nineteen fourteen find himself in the winner's enclosure, and I'm sure uh, Dennis Dyer will tell you that uh, he's just as honest as the day is long and uh, super consistent. And really nice to see him find himself in the winner's box again, Den. Uh. I can't be more happier for Brucey. I couldn't give him too much confidence, but I said to him, Brucey, if they beat him today, then I don't know which way we're going to go. I said his work on Friday, was Thursday, was unbelievable. Really unbelievable. I said he's got a lightweight, there's no pace. And I want Keegan to ride a confident race. And uh, I think Keegs rode a great race. Well done to Brucey. And uh, I'm glad the Swiss has got his uh, second win under his belt. Fantastic. Well done to the team as well for keeping on, on the boil. And uh, then, you know, you've got some nice runners coming up later on. Anything that you, you like uh, confidently? No, these, they all hopefully in with chances. And, uh, you know, if we can find ourselves into the one box again, I'll be very happy. Almost like our boy trying the trip, no concerns? No, no concerns. Thanks for that, Uncle Dan. Well done to trainer Dennis Dreyer. Well, uh, you know, Dennis just complimenting you on an enterprising ride, but that was your instructions, obviously. Yes, um, Dees, you know, he had um, no weight on his back, and um, he's, uh, he's a natural front runner. And um, Mr. Mr. Dreyer left it up to me. He said, um, you got no weight, so take it up. And um, he loved it there. His work the other day was phenomenal, and uh, I, I thought he would be a big runner today. You, you seem surprised because you started looking around at one stage. Where was the opposition? Yes, you know, when you've got horses like Jet Explorer trying to chase you down, you, it's always a concern, you know, but um, they had to carry the weight, and um, this horse had no weight, and um, uh, I think he really deserved the win today. Well, great ride, two instructions, two to T, the numbers in the frame. What about the balance of your ride? Some competitive racing coming up? Yeah, I think I've got the two lefties. Um, um, London Call, he's got the weight to carry, but um, we think very highly of him, and um, 
he's got a wide draw as well on this track, you know, but um, he's a class horse and um, let's just hope he can run well. So you had a look at your form, you know, horses like Flydem are much better off at the weights, but, you know, he looks like a horse that's above average. Yes, um, he is above average and um, I think he'll, he'll, he'll be a hard horse to beat today if he, if he brings his best to the course. Well, thanks for that, uh, Keegan. Keep up the good work. Nice ride here. Thank you. And big thank you to Mr. Ferreira and um, uh, to Mr. Dry as well. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Lovely. Keegan DeMello, the winning rider here. And well done to you, Bruce, wherever you're watching. So it's uh, in Port Elizabeth if you're back home. Number 8, 1914 has done the job for you. 8, 4, 5 and 6. Confirming that, the best cameraman on course. 8, 4, five and six those will be the numbers you'll need and a disappointing run by number two jet explorer and uh, we'll wait for a media release i'm sure about his future